seeing this all sat out, I'm like, uh, girl, you need to slow down. Hey everyone, so I went a little crazy when everyone released their Halloween collections. So I wanted to talk about all the stuff I got from Petco, PetSmart, uh, Chewy, and then I also got quite a few things from um, Cutie Reptiles on Etsy. Not all at once, these are things I've gotten over the past year or so, but they're all Halloween themed and a lot of them she still has on her shop, so I wanted to show you those as well. So I'm just gonna kinda do this vlog style and as they come in, show you because I want my pets to be able to use them right away. So I'm gonna start with the first package I got from Petco. Um, this isn't everything I got from Petco. It got split up into a couple different packages, but um, a lot of this stuff is stuff I literally just didn't wanna miss out on that was coming, that wasn't at the store yet and so I ordered it online. So I don't know, I might be getting more in the future when it comes to stores, um, but so far I'm super happy with the stuff I got. So let me show you. So let's start off small. One of the first things I got is this little bratty batty cat laser toy. Um, we can never have enough laser pointers at the house. I have the three cats and then my boyfriend's cat lives at his house now. Um, so we can literally never have enough. They seem to always disappear and I thought this one was so cute and it was only $5 which is not super bad. The one I usually get from um, Target is about three, but this one's really cute. It has the little bat print. I absolutely loved this bat print they came out with. I got almost everything that came in it. Um, I definitely went a little overboard. I usually try not to spend too much besides Halloween time, and I wanted stuff to get stuff that would last all year because my pets tend to use mostly Halloween stuff for their whole life. So the next thing I got is this super cute little dog toy, actually, but I got it for my ferrets. My ferrets love these little plush toys. Um, so it's a bear. Again, it has that same print on its paws, and then it has little tiny bat wings. I just know my ferrets are going to love carrying this around. For some reason, one of my ferrets loves carrying toys that are way too big for her around and I'm not talking about this big I'm talking about like even bigger um but I got this Petco was having a $30 off or $10 off 30 so I separated all my stuff into $30 to get as much off as possible um but this was six dollars so I don't know exactly how much I paid for all these but yeah um next this is one of the things I was most excited to see because Petco has never released anything for small animals so I got this boutique, the haunting Nibbleton residence chewable guinea pig house. Obviously I don't have guinea pigs, so I'm not gonna give this to guinea pigs, but I thought my mice would love this. It's gonna be big enough for all of them to go in there together. They can chew it, they can destroy it, um, whatever they want. I'm totally prepared. It was $8.99, so it was a little bit expensive to give someone that's just going to destroy it. Um, I also might see if my ferrets might like it uh, before I give it to the mice, just because I think they might let it last a little longer, but if they don't have any interest, I will give it to the mice. Um, I did get this to be used, um, and you just put it together, so... Um, let me put this together real quick and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, the directions told me to build it like this, but I might take it apart and like try tucking these flaps in. I don't know if it's supposed to add to the spookiness or what, but I think it might look better if these were tucked in. Um, but besides that, I honestly don't know if this would be big enough for a guinea pig. It's honestly a little bit small on the inside. Um, like how they show the guinea pig sticking out, I think a guinea pig would stick out the front like that. However, I do think one of my ferrets would fit in this, so I think I will probably put this on the ground for the ferrets to use um, during free roam time and see if they like it. If not, I'll give it to the mice like I was originally going to. I just know they'll destroy it and I want it to last till Halloween. So we'll see, we'll see, but I think it's really cute. Again, like I said, it was kind of expensive for it to be just destroyed, but it was worth it to me. Um, I did get whatever discount off of it for um, spending $30, but I still think it's really cute. And then this next thing, I am not kidding, was the thing that made me do this haul at all. I am so impressed with this bed. I love it and I know my ferrets are gonna love it. It is a coffin shaped velvet bed with this little pocket. My cats won't use it, but my ferrets are gonna love it. They love little pocketed beds like this. And it opens up like this, so it's really easy to clean. 
and then it has this cushion in which I think can come out if you just undo the little tie things and it has that beautiful purple pattern on it um, on the inside I think this is literally so cute um, it was pretty expensive but I can't wait to just have this out all year round for my ferrets um, someone that's only gonna use it for Halloween I think it would be a little expensive for that but it's really nicely done I'm gonna leave it out all year round it was about $30 so like I said it was kind of expensive um, but I think it was worth it I think it is really really cute and I can't wait for my ferrets to use it and that's partially why I'm doing this vlog style because I wanted them to use it tonight the next thing I want to talk about before I wait for more packages to come in is actually the stuff from cutie reptiles so all of this stuff like I said I've bought throughout the year so a lot of it is in animal cages right now so I'm actually just gonna insert pictures all of these pictures are from her Etsy listing so none of the pictures are mine um, but I wanted to show you the stuff that I did get from her website um, but so the first thing I got is this little haunted castle it's like red and black I have this in my mouse's cage they love sleeping in it um, two or three of them will sleep in there at once it has the hole out the top it has the hole at the front it has a deep enough place to put a little substrate in it um, it's really really nice I love it it's about this big so it's pretty big I don't know prices for any of these things because I like I said I bought them throughout the year um, but they're all such nice so nicely done and I love that she has Halloween stuff out all year round um, the next thing I got is this trick-or-treat smell my feet give me some good bugs to eat little pumpkin dish I actually feed my bearded dragon her salad um, in this cup it's about this big um, so as she gets bigger because she's a baby right now as she gets bigger um, it, she might outgrow the actual dish itself but I can have someone else use it there'll always be a use for it I think it is absolutely adorable and I could not resist it it also has like spider webbing around the edges it's just so cute and I love using ceramic stuff because it's so easy to clean so yeah I absolutely love that um, and then I got two mealworm dishes, so I'll put them both on the screen. One says, you'll float too, and I have that in my frog's enclosure when I give them mealworms because one of my frog's names is Georgie. And then the other one says, what does it say? Creepy craw crawlies in my belly. And then it has those little um, spider webs around the edge like the pumpkin dish. I also got two gecko feeding dishes from her. They're actually a little larger than I thought and don't fit in most of my feeding ledges, um, but I think they probably fit in some sort of standard feeding ledge that I just didn't look. Um, but I still use them on my geckos. I'll just put it on top of the little feeding ledge and it works just fine. Super easy to clean and wipe out. Um, the pumpkin one and the ghost one, I bought them both. And then the last thing that I got from her is that big skull hide. It's painted beautifully. Um, I had this in Chive's enclosure before he passed away and now I will probably give it to my mice in their elderly enclosure um, because two of my mice are uh, getting a little older so I made a little more of a mellow enclosure and I think this would be a great hide to have in there, make it a little spooky. Um, so that's everything I got from Petco and Cutie Reptiles, um, and I will see you again when another package comes in to show you what else I got, because there's a so lot. Some more of my stuff came in, well actually majority of the rest, I still am expecting um, two more packages, um, and I am starting to realize how much stuff I bought. I went a little crazy, it's harder to keep track when you buy online, um, but I'll start with the rest of Petco because the rest of that came today. I got uh, three more things from Petco. I got this little um, cat treat bundle of toys uh, for the cats, obviously. I don't know how to get into this. I hope I don't have to like ruin it to get into it. I'll have to look, so I'm not going to open it right now. But um, it's a... How many toys is in this? I don't even know. It was $9. It comes with like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six toys. And if there's a way to open this little package without ruining it, um, I think it'd be easy to turn this into a toy too, like stuff it and then sew it back up or zip it or whatever. Um, but I think this is super cute. I really like it. And um, my cats and ferrets share toys, so I never feel bad about buying toys. I never feel bad about buying anything for my pets. This next thing was kind of ridiculous, honestly. Um, the price is hurts me a little bit but 
I loved it and I kind of felt like it was going to be something that was going to sell out and my ferrets love blankets. So I got this Bratty Batty Pet Throw. It's 40 inches by 30 inches so it's not human size but it's actually really heavy. Like this is heavier than like a human size fleece throw um, and it's that really nice velvety material that the coffin bed's made out of and then the softer material with the bats all over it. Um, it matches the coffin bed perfectly. I think this is going to be awesome. I think I might put it on the end of my end of my bed for my ferrets or cats to sleep um, cuddled up in. But yeah, this was $20. Like I said before, I did get some sort of discount, not a huge one. Um, if they go on sale, I'll go in and price match my receipt. But this was one thing that I saw and I just really, really, really wanted. So I bit the bullet. And then the last thing I got from Petco, I obviously didn't check the size on because this is a toy I ordered for my ferrets and look how freaking big it is. Like, I'm not going to lie. I think Carly will still carry this around, but this thing is absolutely massive. It's huge. Now I understand the price a little more. Um, it was $17.99. It's crinkly, so they're going to absolutely love it. There is a squeaker, but um, I try getting ones that the squeaker is really hard to find because ferrets don't do good with squeakers. Um, but I do think they'll have fun dragging this around. And like I said, this thing is so big. I really was not expecting it when I pulled it out for it to be this ginormous. I don't think I've ever seen a toy peco this big, but uh, it's still pretty cute. So I think they'll enjoy that. Um, moving on, I have one thing from actually from Home Goods here. It's this little gnome toy. Um, and again, I think my ferrets will like dragging this around. They like stuff about this large, and this isn't super heavy because it's mostly like dangly legs and stuff. But I thought it was really cute. It's just like a little gnome, and he can just sit out. And then when the ferrets want to steal him, they can, and then he'll just go somewhere else. But yeah, he was only $5.99. So really good deal from Home Goods. They had some other cute stuff, but nothing that would work for my pets. Um, next, let's move on to Chewy. So this is only two of the things I got from Chewy. I do have one more box coming in a couple days, I think. Uh, but I did get a couple collars. So this is one of the collars I got. It has this really cute lime green and spiderweb bow. And then the actual collar itself is all spiderwebby. And it's, of course, a breakaway collar. Um, I love switching out my collar, my cat's collars. Uh, one of them is staring at it right now because she can hear the bell. But I think this will look so cute. I'll probably put this on Kingsley, my short hair cat, um, because I think it'll get lost in my long hair black cat's fur. Um, I got some more bright ones coming from Amazon that I can give to them. But I think this is so cute, and I love little bows. And hopefully she doesn't destroy it too quickly because it's really cute. Um, I don't know how much this was. I think probably like $6. It's pretty cheap for a collar because collars can get really expensive if you buy them at the pet store. The next thing, oh, by the way, this is by the brand Frisco and so is this. The next thing I got is a little <laughs> like decorative collar, uh, probably just for pictures. I was thinking about doing a dressing some of my pets up in Halloween costumes. Um, so if you'd like to see that, let me know because I did get a couple things for some of my pets uh so we could see them wear halloween costumes but i thought this was really cute i just wanted to get a picture i got one because i'm just gonna put it on for a picture and then i'll put it on all of them so you can get the best picture in but it's really cute it's like orange and there's all these different characters on it and uh it's so cute i know that uh they're not gonna wear it for a long time but I think it's pretty cute and I don't think my cats will wear actual costumes so I thought maybe I could get a cute picture of them in this. So next we'll move on to PetSmart and I actually have a package coming from PetSmart. Um, I went to the store today but I have a package coming from them as well but a lot of it's just duplicate stuff so instead of showing you all that I'm just going to tell you um, what I got duplicates of. So let's start out with this. I got this pop-up tunnel. Now tunnels is like the last thing I need but my cats love tunnels they will literally go out of their way to walk through a tunnel so i got this one it's really cute it has like candy corns all over it and then it has this little dangly boo toy um it's one of the shorter tunnels but i actually prefer those because they're easier to fit in my living room and my small house um so i actually really like these small ones i have the halloween one from last year 
and now I have the Halloween one from this year and I think that it's really cute and my cat's coming over here because she knows that this stuff is for her. So the next thing I got are actually two bearded dragon costumes. Now you may know my bearded dragon is a baby so these are obviously not for her but I thought these might fit my ferrets. So I got a skeleton costume and a pumpkin costume and I'm gonna put them on my ferrets um, again, if you want to see that, uh, dressing my pets up, let me know, but I kind of got these just for photos for myself, but I'd be more than happy to make a video as well. Um, and I just thought these were super cute and this is kind of the shape of a ferret too, like a long body with a tail and small legs. Um, I don't know. I thought they were really cute. I hope they fit. They also had guinea pig ones, but I figured those would be way too big. And then of course the little pumpkin, um, they both have two body straps. So I'm hoping I can get at least some pictures of them uh but those i think were only like five dollars each so not too bad and then the last thing i got before i get to the stuff i got duplicates of is this little pop-up cat tent along with tunnels my cats love tents they just sit in them and watch uh from afar so i have so many tunnels and tents and houses just around the house for the cats to sit in and feel comfortable um, especially if i have people over i want them to be able to navigate the house and feel comfortable um, so i'm actually just going to take this out and pop it up. I have the one from last year too, so I'm assuming it's the same size. Yeah, it's the same size. And it's just this orange with little green and purple and white bats on it. Um, but it's just perfect size. It has three holes and it also has this little dangly spider toy. I think my cats uh, took this part out of the one from last year, but um, that's fine. They can still use the tunnel. These hold up great. And like I said, I use these all year, so I don't mind spending a little extra during Halloween time to get them some new stuff, um, that they can use all year round. Okay, so the next thing I got are these little orange and black willow balls. Um, so I actually did get three of these packages. Um, I want to do my 75 gallon hamster take in Halloween, decked out Halloween. So I did get quite a few of these. Um, most of uh, the other two I ordered online and then I just happened to grab this at the store today. But um, honestly, I don't think they're super worth the money. It's very novelty, but yeah, I got them anyways. So I got these little willow balls. They're great for chewing. They've been a hit with all of my different rodents. Um, then I got these little wooden chews. Um, there's a pumpkin. There's two pumpkins, a black and white one, and then one that says trick or treat. These ones last quite a bit longer, so I think the price is actually worth it more for this one. However, um, I do get like a 50-50 mix on whether my animals will chew these or not. So you just kind of have to try them out and see which animal will chew them, I guess. Uh, but they're super cute, and I think it's going to be really nice to like just lay out in the tank and yeah kingsley's going through all the stuff and then this um corn husk and wood chew animal toy so this looks like a little pumpkin obviously i'm having a hard time telling what's inside because last year for christmas they came out with one that had like a rubber ball inside um that was more designed for rabbits so i don't think this is the same, um, but I thought this would be good for my mice uh, as long as it's safe. I think there's actually just a piece of wood in there based on what I can tell. So if that's the case, this will be awesome for my mice because it'll give them something to do. They can pull apart the little sisal rope stuff and then also chew the wooden block. But yeah, I did get one more of these um, from online too. Um, I basically picked up a lot of the stuff I ordered online in the store just because once I saw what it looked like, I just wanted an extra one, but yeah. And then the last thing I got from PetSmart is honestly my dream bedding that I've been waiting for for years. PetSmart always comes out with a Halloween themed bedding. Um, however, they've never come out with orange and black before. And when I saw this, I died. So I actually have four more of these coming uh, from online because online it was buy one get one half off and in the store they were normal price only about one in the store but honestly it is so cute everyone knows that the all living things bedding is my favorite bedding um i prefer the kind in the strips over this like crumpled kind just because it's softer 
but I literally could not resist this bedding. It is so cute. I'm gonna see, have to see how soft and hard or hard this is, and I might have to mix it with like a paper white bedding just to make it a little softer, but honestly, I cannot resist this. This is so cute. This is perfect Halloween colors. I literally love it. I got five of them. Um, I'm gonna see how far one bag goes because these are the smaller bags, um, but if they, don't go too far and they go on sale again I honestly might get a couple more uh just to save for like April next year when I'm feeling a little needing some spooky in my life but yeah so I got this um it's really compact in there so I think it will fluff up quite a bit but I don't know so we'll see and then the last things that I have today, um, like I said, I think I only have like one more thing coming um, besides the extra pet smart stuff I'm not going to show you from Chewy and then maybe a couple things from Amazon, but I'm not sure when those are coming. So um, now I'll show you these. So this is obviously a cat scratcher from Target. I think this one was $10. It's actually a little graveyard. So I will set this up and show you what it looks like. Um, I actually usually never spend money on cardboard scratchers just because they literally just get destroyed. They make a huge mess and I would rather just get my cats nice like um, scratching posts that will last a couple years or a year depending on how nice it was made. Um, and I know that this is gonna just go like crazy. Alice does, Alistair does love these. She will just sit there and scratch on the cardboard one non-stop until it's completely destroyed but they're just too expensive for um how long they last however target does come out with these super cute halloween themed ones and so that's the one time of the year that i will spend money to get them so this is the little graveyard scratcher the actual scratcher itself is pretty big like those ones that you get at the store normal like three dollars for the really skinny ones so I don't think it's that bad. Obviously, some of it's paying for novelty, but I do think this is super cute. Um, I usually opt for one of the larger ones, but this year I actually got two of the smaller ones and it ended up being cheaper than one of the larger ones that I normally go with. So I think my cats are going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this, and it's really cute. This part's a little flimsy, but I don't think that they will ruin it. Um, they'll either jump over the side or they'll sneak in there. Um, but I think they'll really like this. this. And like I said, it was only $10. Um, it's really cute. It says like number nine, nine lives over, meow. Um, all of these, ninth life. So it's really cute. And um, I think my cats are going to like it. And that's what's most important. And then the last thing of today is this second scratch house. So this one was $15. It is a little witch um, like house. So this is more of like a hide than a scratcher, but it does have a scratcher at the bottom. It's literally so cute. Um, I kept trying to decide which one I wanted and I kept going back to this one. It looks like it might be a little small. Obviously that's a kitten uh, right there, but we will see because uh, I'm pretty excited. And even if they, don't use it, the ferrets will, so let's see. I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. So this thing's actually huge. If you're looking for a better bang for your buck, it's definitely this one. Um, it was a little more time consuming to put together. I don't even know if the whole thing's in frame, but it's really, really cute. There's like a witch, um, has two entrances. Um, the only thing is this actually doesn't fit in the, uh, let me see if I can show you. So this thing is smaller than the hole, so it will have to be set directly on the ground, which would make sense. That's where you normally would put it. Um, and then this thing's kind of just like a hat for it, but um, a hat, it does look like a hat. There's even like a little window and a buckle over there. Um, I tried making it so it was cute on every side, a little chimney. So I think this is really, really cute. Um, and the cool thing about this not being stuck in is you can actually take it out and flip it over once the one side gets all scratched up. So you can use it doubly as long. Um, but I think this is really cute and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, if you're looking for a better bang for your buck, that one was 15 and the cemetery was on, or was $10, so only $5 difference. Um, yeah, the cardboard thing's a little smaller, but this is a whole freaking house. So yeah, 
Okay, so like I said, a couple more things um, and then we will be able to wrap up this video. I hope you are enjoying so far. Please like and subscribe if you are and I will see you guys in more packages. So while I was editing this, I realized how long it was getting. So I'm actually gonna break this up into two parts. Um, I wanted to get this part up as soon as possible and then the next part is going to be up in the next day or two when I can get um, the one last package I'm waiting for. Uh, but so look out for that, subscribe if you like this type of haul if you love Halloween um, please like comment uh, follow me on my other socials everything's linked in the description let me know if you got any of these super fun Halloween pet supplies um, and stay tuned for part two coming out in the next day or two um, and until then I hope you have a great rest of your day